All right, guys, how's it going? Hope the angle is not too weird. Uh, I was trying to find a good place to get y'all where y'all can actually see what's going on. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how I paint my RC car bodies. Um, so this basically works pretty much you know, if you want to run any kind of color, it's kind of paint scheme and stuff. So I'm going to show you uh, how I get this result. So. But yeah, it's kind of easy. Uh, when I come up with this idea, I was kind of looking for, you know, something that would look good, but it was really easy to replicate and repeat because you go through a lot of bodies and something that wasn't very time consuming. So, okay, the bodies I'm gonna paint today are gonna be for the MP10 and the MP10T. And I also somewhere have the body for my RB7, which I can't find it right now. I'm gonna paint as well, so we'll do three bodies at once. I'm going to show you how to go through this, try to be, you know, most detail oriented as I can. And found it! <laughs> it's right here and also the junk. Yeah, I'm also going to paint that for my uh, two-wheel drive buggy. So they're going to paint these three at the same time. It's really, really easy and straightforward. So I hope this will help someone out. And you don't have to do like this paint scheme or this color or anything like that. I mean, you can pretty much change it up and do it, you know, however you want to. But, you want to start by cleaning the bodies, so I'm going to get these guys right here out of the way. Hold up here in a second. So you want to start by cleaning it. Uh, like a lot of guys, you can use whatever. Uh, I think like soap and water is like a really good, just regular dish detergent. Um, you don't want to put like chemicals and stuff on these bodies because they might run into problems. I'm just using mineral spirits. Never done it before. It's just what I have right here in the garage, so it's from the youth. <laughs> um, so, just a little splash. Get a big eye. Try to speed through this as much as I can. All right. Yeah, just to basically wipe it down. That way, there's any kind of grease or anything, you kind of get it off. So. Is all clean you need to determine how you're going to paint the car itself make sure you wash your hands too because if you have greasy hands and you touch inside the body then you're totally defeating the purpose of cleaning the body to start with but yeah there's multiple ways you can like paint a body you can do like liquid mask and stuff like that but it takes forever and like i said i want something very simple and if you do like masking tape or anything like that it's very very time consuming so what i do is i just take a regular paint brush and just uh you know rc car paint you don't want to get something that's like really thin and ready to spray because then like you can't brush it on it'll just like make it like a mess so you'll make sure you get something that's not very thin um, because you know it won't work if you're going to use a brush so but all right enough rambling i'm going to go ahead and mask the windows off which you know is a very very important step which, you know, when you get your kit, you get your window mask, so just basically mask them off, and then the next step will start painting, so.
bodice mask. I'm going to go to the first step. Uh, usually start with one color and work your way to your final coat. Um, since we are doing uh, red and black for our tear and splash, um, basically I'll go through and do the red, let it dry for a little bit, or pretty much let it dry all the way, and then go back and do the black. Um, kind of got to be careful because if you, uh, you throw the coats on, kind of too quick, they'll smear and you'll kind of get like an orange kind of. So it's no big deal, kind of helps to blend really, but um, so yeah, red, let it dry completely. And then um, we'll do the, uh, the black, so all right. Got to shake these things up real quick. Okay, correction, I'm gonna start with the black first, dark color first, I guess and work our way to our lighter color. Whether that's the right way to do it or not, I don't know. Never done this many bodies at once, so this might be interesting, so. All right. So yeah, we'll start right here and just kinda Just kind of left to your kind of your artistic form, I guess. So you kind of do it. Um, however you see fit. So here we go, we got one of them in there. And kind of like to try roughly mirror what I have going on. So it just kind of helps it kind of flow a little better, I guess. Not perfect, because you I mean you're never gonna get perfect. And that's the whole point of this paint scheme is just kind of, it's fast and easy. because it kind of makes a mess so I'm going to show you once over here and then I'm going to go over here out of the way so I'll make a mess all over the place which I'm already doing so you want to get like a decent like a decent amount of paint like a nice little blob and basically just hold it a little bit away and just kind of and you kind of see the little oh you kind of see like the little smash right there maybe I really can't really see it through the camera, but hopefully y'all can. So yep, just kind of hold it up and give it a good swack. Swack like that. Oh yeah, now we're getting some good, some good paint. You guys can see that, yeah. So that's pretty much what you do. Like I said, that's the last time I'm gonna do that in this area because um, I don't wanna get paint all over my stuff, which I already have. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. But yeah, you kinda wanna go somewhere out of the your nice clean area and do that. But that just kinda gives you a general idea. So now I'm gonna time lapse through the black real quick and then I will show you the red in a second.
go, right there. Make it happen, Cap. Learn my lesson, actually put that on something this time because that a nice little spot right there to clean up. And you can kind of, you can play with the different uh, brush sizes. I usually don't get like too crazy with it. Um, I kind of like to switch uh, brush sizes, I guess, like between the white and red. Um, I really don't have like a set thing, I just kind of change it as I do body, so sometimes it looks like the car having more red, other times it looks like having more black, and I think this time I went a little more with black compared to my other car body that I just did, so anyway, throw some around these things real quick. Oh, and you don't want to really go over the black because I don't know if it's because it's like really fresh paint or what, but like I said, it will kind of like soften the paint back up and like you'll kind of blend it and it'll like smear it and stuff so i try to stay off of the black i've already put i'll go behind it a little bit just to kind of fill in and make some red behind the black uh, but yeah i'll get too you know too carried away with it See that right there? Yeah, should be alright. this one but it'll look pretty good. Alright, I'm about to uh, shake up some cans and we'll spray some white and then we gotta let these things dry for a little bit and uh, I guess I'll show you how I do my window outline and then they'll pretty much be done. So, sweet. Alright guys, 
guys, it's actually the next or the following day. I let these guys dry overnight. Uh, it was kind of late, so I just went ahead and caught it at night. But anyway, you don't have to let these dry overnight. You can take a heat gun or hair dryer or whatever and kind of speed up the drying process. Uh, but I'll kind of give you a look at where we're at right now. Turned out pretty good. Um, they always kind of look rough in this stage because you know, still got to trim or finish trimming the body and do the, the window outline. But it comes together once you put the stickers and everything on it. So far, I would say the shruggy body is definitely my favorite. Come out the best so far. Let's see here. Usually what I do uh, for my window outline um, is I just take a really sharp um, you know, knife and cut right along the edge of the, win the window mask and then just peel out that outer edge and take my brush and paint in red and silver green whatever you you know whatever you want so have to nail down sorry about that but anyway um on this car right here the lines are really really straight for the window mask so i'm probably just going to peel that completely off and just take like some regular tape and just put a line of tape there then paint it and not have to worry about it but on let's say for the truggy for an example you know the window is a little more curved so usually just likes to cut out the knife but right here on the inside of that, that is going to be a killer pain because you, know, you really can't get in there to work it. But I think I can make it work. So, all right, I'm going to do this real quick and get them all painted up, and I'll show you the final result or what they look like. And then we can pull the outer protective layer off, finish trimming the body, and then throw some stickers on it, and they'll be done. So, let's get started. outlined on everything that tape bled through like crazy um, so I'm, maybe I can fix that I'm not sure but uh, which we'll actually I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the film off so we can see what we got
Okay, once you trim your body as close as you can with uh, your, you know, your scissors, um, I always take a Dremel and a sanding wheel just to kind of clean the edges up and make everything kind of nice and smooth. So we got this body right here for the the uh, RB7. It's pretty much all trimmed up and ready to go. It kind of makes a, a mess, but you know you gotta blow your car off with suppressed air. So. That's pretty much it. Gotta put some Velcro right there to hold it and throw some stickers on it. It should be, uh, should be ready to go. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. That's where I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video right here. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, uh, but this is basically the way that I found easiest to get a decent looking body. Um, there's nothing about RC car that I don't enjoy, but definitely painting bodies and trimming bodies is not all that fun. But for me, this kind of works. It's kind of you get a you get a really good result. Something that looks like it may have taken a long time, but it's really not that bad. <sighs> But yeah, I've got like a few more things I need to do. I misplaced some of my stickers, which I gotta hunt those up and finish putting some decals on these things. But for the most part, they are done. I'll give you a close up look of them real quick. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I can't really complain. But it's like a, this way of doing it, it's kind of, it's a, uh, it's pretty easy. It kind of lets you do what, you, you know, whatever you want to do. It leaves it to your imagination. Now you don't have to do like the, the 
tear and like paint splash, whatever, you can do whatever. You know, if you want to paint like a star there, you can. So pretty much anything. All right, I'll quit rambling. Um, hope you guys will stick around, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to see more RC car action, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll try to get some more videos of RC stuff in the future. So, all right, guys, that's it. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.